Hey everyone, back on the old 65 Thunderbird again. Working on the headliner. Finally, back on the headliner, getting this done. I got my repair manual. Uh, group 18 is the section in the uh, repair manual where you'll find the headliner install instructions. Oh, before I go too far, now it's not perfect, but you might notice I've uh, changed the color of that uh, passenger side door. I've been working on it, trying to blend it in with the rest and have the same patina. But anyway, back on task. <laughs> so I got the new headliner dug out. Um, you might have remembered, uh, anybody that's been watching me for a while, last summer when I got this car, I took the old headliner out. And uh, so now I'm gonna, and I bought the headliner then, and I haven't put it in, but now it's time to put the headliner in. So there's a few things uh, that are important on this job. And they were important at the time when I took the old one out. And that, the most important part was to uh, remember where the bows went in it and the color coding of the bows. So I've done that and it's in the old video. Thank goodness I recorded it. And now I have that information. So I'll get you down off uh, this uh, selfie stick I have you on and we'll get you in and close to the manual and we'll see what it says. So here's what it says in the manual. Talks about removing the coat hooks and all that kind of jazz. Uh, talks about uh, garnish molding and uh, headliner supports and everything. But here's the, the part that, well, if you're doing this for the first time, uh, roof bows. They're color-coded. Remember where they are. Now, it's very clear what they are when you see them, so don't be worried. But if you don't have these, uh, if they've gotten lost or anything, you'll need to buy the right ones. So over here, uh, this is the front of the headliner. This goes toward the windshield. And then you'll have three green colored bows in the front. One there. And then the third one back is green as well. This one here, I uh, can't really see it, but it's got, it doesn't have any paint color on it. So that's the plain one, no paint color. And the very rear one will be red. Now it's buried inside here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to have to cut this out anyway and get it in place. But that, that has red paint on it. So that's the sequence of them. All right, got her marked up. Got this bow exposed. That's the red one. And uh, everything's all ready to go there. Got the center line marked on it, front and back. Now I'm going to put this out in the sun. And uh, I'm going to start doing some work on the inside getting ready. All right, you'll notice over there uh, in the factory install where that yellow insulation is, that uh, deaf sound deadening. On the outside of that, and where the, the hole for the dome light goes in, or the courtesy light, there was a felt on each side on the sail, wind, sail panel felt. So for that sail panel, I bought this uh, cotton felt, cotton insulation stuff. It's very similar to what was in there. Uh, it came from Frost King. Um, I believe it's about three quarter of an inch thick, not compressed. Anyway, that's what I'm using. There's probably a million things you could use in there, but I got enough to do both sides. So let's get that cut and I'll just spray glue on it and then and, and stick it in. Now that the felts are in, let's go get the, the headliner and see if we can get that uh, hung and see how it looks. And I have to find those rear, uh, wires that go back those support wires that come back in there all right here are the little wires the retainers that go on the back bow right here so if you when you're taking your car apart don't lose those they're not much to them they're easy to lose but you'll need them to hold that rear bow up so uh yeah that's all i can say don't lose them all right, got these uh, little retainer wires in. I went and covered them over with uh, sound deadener. So if you're doing the sound deadener that far back, make sure you the little holes that are there, leave them open. And they just clip on the rod like that. Get my hand out of the way, that one fell off. Remember, remember that they, when you go to put the roof on, that these are in place. There it goes. And then it just pops through just rips to the material but they will they will fall into place if you're not careful so so now I have this thing hung in here it's a little wrinkly the uh, 
This is how the book states to do it. Hang all the bows, put in, install the rear, these little, re these little wires, retainer wires. And then you start at the center, at the front, and start working it, working the wrinkles out, but not pulling it so much that it wrinkles more. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, getting geared up to staple it. So what I use, those staples, I'm using the same leg length staples that were in this when it was new. Now, um, I believe the original ones were half inch wide, not three eighths, but I couldn't get a staple gun for a cheap price. So I'm using three eighths and the leg length of three sixteenths. That's how deep these were <coughs> from the factory. That said they were half inch, not three eighths. And I went ahead and sprayed with some Super 77 uh, the header here in this part here where this uh, plastic strip is, nail, uh, gluing strip. The manual says to do the front first and I just gave it a, a light spray and a light spray on here. And it says to pull till there's no wrinkles left in here. But don't over pull or you tear it. But it pulls, pull till the wrinkles are gone and then staple it working from the center out. So I thought, well, if I put a little glue on, I could probably get it. I think this stuff is repositional for a little while. So hopefully I can get it up there and uh, make a nice job of it. But I guess nothing ventured, nothing gained. So let's see what we can do with it. It's gonna be hard to, I won't be able to video at the same time. There's no room to put the camera up. So I'll, uh, I'll go at it and I'll keep you posted. Hey, well, the roof liner is almost in. Beverly, you wanna take a scoop up in here and I'll explain what's going on. Now, right here, there's a little bit of wrinkling, but what happened was the uh, tack strip on this side pulled away. So when I put the trim on, and actually I might put a screw in this to hold it, and that straightens that right out. This area right here was wrinkled. I wasn't happy with it, so I pulled the staples. And we're gonna redo this, I'm redoing this now. And we'll pull this down. And other than that, those corners up in here, they don't have any kind of tack strip or anything, so the trim just holds those. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Over in here, it's looking nice and tight. I still have to put right here is on both sides. This is where the courtesy lights go in. But if you're doing this, you really do need that felt for here. It fills it out. If you don't put the felt in, it doesn't puff out like that. So it's a nice job with the felt, so make sure you put the felt in. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. She's uh, looking pretty good. That's the roof liner. Looking really it nice. It smells a heck of a lot better than it did, that's for sure, when the old one was in there. And uh, that's it. Uh, again, I don't know what to say, so I'm going to say thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.